President, Father Ernesto O. Javier S.J., our Principal Tito Rafi, our Vice Principal Tito Ryan, teachers and staff, parents and students, good afternoon. The honor is mine for being able to welcome you all to this school year's Science Month celebration with the theme, Agham, Pananaliksik, at Teknolohiya, Kabalikat sa Matatag at Mulad na Pamayana. Naayon ang sa panahon ang tema ng ating pagtiriyam, ngayon buwan nag-aghaw, lalo na tayo ay nasa kalikitnaan pa rin sa masalimuot na pandemya. Nararapat lamang na bigyang halaga ang aghaw at panaliksik upang gumawa ng bagong teknolohiya na maaring nating magamit laban sa pandemya ito. As a new student last year in SBCEC, I have been given the challenge to take the role of a scientist who will soon build this nation who will someday may be regarded as saviors of many people who have been alerted during courses of natural phenomena and disasters. I am taking little steps in making this unscience culture society recognize our future Benedictine scientists, not only during times of eclipses, typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, but as well as their role in the progress of this nation, the lifestyle of every Filipino. Science Research and technology are essential parts of our daily lives. From the simple tools we use at home to the vaccines that we use to fight COVID-19, all thanks to science. We therefore challenge you young Benedictine scientists to take on more inquiries, question some more, that being scientific be your second nature. As what former DOSD Secretary Seferino Falosco had said, We challenge our country's industrialization and rest heavily on the scientists' shoulders. There should be a truly hospitable science environment and culture, coupled with the science-sensitive value system to make science and technology 
our country's twin keys to industrialization. Agham, pananaliksik, at teknolohiya. Kabalikat sa matatag at maunlad na pamayanan. Let us make science part of our daily endeavor in making a better society, a better future. This year's Salasma celebration is filled with activities that will highly involve our students and make them contribute in accomplishing our goal. That is to inculcate in each student the importance of Agam Mananaliksik at Ikmalugia, Kabalikat sa Matatag at Maulad na Pamayanan. Here are the activities that we have to look forward to. First, Parade of Scientists. Second, e collage making. Third, virtual field trips. Fourth, anti bullying campaign. Fifth, side TikTok talk. Sixth, semi science. Seven, culminating and awarding ceremony. We, the team on top of SBCC, look forward to everyone's active participation in all the activities, whether they are classroom based or school wide. Continue sciencing this whole month of September. Since March 2020, the country has been in constant fear because of the pandemic. Health has become a major concern for all of us. What we eat, what we do, how we live affect all the systems of the human body. Isn't it just high time that we take self-care into a whole new level? We, the students of LC11, firmly believe in proper care of our respiratory and circulatory systems. It is not enough that we eat what is right, we should also do what is right. Here to tell us more about the proper care of the respiratory and circulatory systems is the class that I belong to, the class of LC11. I wake up every day and think, I'm breathing! It's a good day. Inhale. Exhale, and check your heart rate. Yes, I am okay. Do we know the significance of these systems? These are the systems that allow us to continue doing what we want. What if they quit working? Do you know that these systems are equally open to attacks, but we continue to abuse them? How many individuals are aware that a single heartbeat, a single breath may signify so much? The process of being able to create the energy on which we rely comes from the extraordinary work of our respiratory and circulatory systems. But how secure are we from this pandemic? How can we double our body security? What about the fragile children and the elderly? What about those who are working to protect the world from this worldwide threat? What about those who are suffering and are being cared for by our valiant medical personnel? What can we do to help limit and perhaps prevent this pandemic? It is critical to look after your body. The global health crisis will worsen if efforts such as emphasizing the importance of our lungs and heart are not taken. COVID-19 has the greatest impact on the lungs. COVID-19 can result in lung problems such as pneumonia and in extreme instances, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Another significant consequence of COVID-19 is sepsis, which can cause long-term damage to the lungs and other organs. COVID-19 infections can damage the walls in your air sacs and lungs. As your body engages in a fight against it, your lungs become inflamed and fill with fluid. It makes it harder to switch oxygen and carbon dioxide. We can take care and protect ourselves from COVID-19 or any lung disease by wearing a mask whenever we leave the house. Wear a face shield for extra protection and bring alcohol. And remember, when you're out, don't touch anything. It will only increase your chances of getting the disease. Disinfect everything you bring out from your home. This can be your phone, your groceries, even your water bottle. Care for your loved ones because you're only as safe as they are. Take medicine and exercise regularly to keep your immune system healthy and strong. Our lungs and our heart are the most important organs in our bodies. Without them, our body would not be able to respire and circulate. Waking up to a world where breathing itself has its risks is one of the most painful facts in our current society. The least we can do as decent humans is to follow health protocols and protect those around us. Without discipline, we will all continue to suffer in a saga of death and struggle by COVID-19. The greatest act of kindness anyone can display nowadays is obedience. Wear a mask. Disinfect yourself and your items. Save lives. Check up on yourself every day. Ask yourself, am I breathing alright? 
Is my heart beating fine? If it is, be thankful. To have lungs that work and a heart that beats is a blessing. Go spend your day breathing fresh air and enjoy living because you never know when either of those might come to a stop. Always remember to stay safe. Thank you. Galileo is credited with creating the copper that forever changed mankind's perception of the universe. It showed that the Earth was not the center of the universe, you're saying those things, but was instead just a planet. Revolving around the sun that we now know is just an ordinary star in an extraordinary sky. Any textbook will tell you that Galileo gave us to comprehend revolution. But did he really? Some would argue that the obscure lens maker who invented the first telescope to be used for astronomical purposes deserves at least as much credit as Galileo. That lens maker, whoever he was, created a tool that allowed the scientists to discover great truths that have withstood the test of four centuries. That simple claim strikes at the very core of science today because it raises the question of who should be in the driver's seat, the engineers who create the tools or the scientists who use those tools to unlock mysteries of the universe. We are encouraged to know more about the scientists think and work, not only memorizing their inventions and theories, but the wondrous discoveries they have made to explore Students learn to research about the life and works of their favorite scientists. Not only that we learn to appreciate their contributions, but we also get inspired with their works, patience, perseverance, determination, and hard work. Students embark on knowing the life and works of those who make significant changes in the world. We now present to you the Parade of Science.
immunization is one of the best ways you can protect yourself, your children, and future generations from infectious diseases. In other words, if you vaccinate, you help wipe out disease that could spread now and into the future. The vaccine is the final step in our effort to get back to a more normal way of life. Public health measures such as mask wearing, physical distancing, and hand washing were implemented to slow the spread of the virus, and they have proven to work. Although masks are still recommended indoors in areas with high infection rates, the vaccine is our path towards eventually moving beyond them. Evidence suggests that vaccinated people who might be infected with the coronavirus have fewer virus particles in their nose and mouth and are less likely to spread it to others. This finding is important as getting vaccinated now not only protects you, but also limits the spreading the virus to loved ones and friends. As more people continue to receive the vaccine, we might reach herd immunity, which means the spread of the virus becomes unlikely. It's important that we receive the vaccine to help us achieve this public health goal. Hashtag back to normal. Hello ma'am, um, could you please show your vaccine card? It's for the safety of everyone within the store. Why should I? I want to speak to your manager. I believe that vaccines are a big conspiracy theory. Those brown church doctors out there are using the vaccine to take away our liberty. The rights of the constitution have been violated by these right-wing fascists who only want to strip us of our independence. Listen to me! Don't take the vaccines! Don't let them turn you into zombies! That right there was an example of a Karen. An increasingly common breed of human that seems to think COVID is a lie. <laughs> common symptoms of shamelessness include an irrational fear of vaccines and intense dislike for following social distancing protocols. Currently, the death rate for COVID worldwide is around 6%. Many people infected with shamelessness believe that this 6% isn't something to get worked up about. Are you sure about that? Anyway, there's a 94% chance that I won't get sick. And 6% against 94% is such a small ratio. Shutting down society for a while is necessary. Distributing vaccines is our only way of stemming the tide of the virus. We made the vaccine through clinical trials and scientific investigations. Thus, the Food and Drug Administration has given COVID-19 vaccines an emergency use authorization. These vaccines are regarded as safe and effective. Okay. There's no reason to back out now. Ma'am, don't risk your safety and the safety of others just because of your ignorance. So, who cares? If you get vaccinated, you can still get the virus! Well, you're not wrong there. However, it is less likely to contract COVID when vaccinated, and the symptoms are less extreme. According to a recent CNET article, 99% of COVID deaths are of unvaccinated individuals, experts say. These vaccines are effective against the new variants as well. Vaccines such as Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson can counter Delta variants according to the Healthline webpage. So there's no need to worry, there are many vaccination sites nearby. As you can see, I have stayed in my home, I have quarantined, and I have not gone to a haircut salon since last year. While waiting for your vaccine, please remember to strictly follow all protocols. And unlike Karen's, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Stay safe and wait for proper instructions from accredited sources. Every single day, COVID-19 affects a person's life in a very big way. People lose their jobs and even their lives. Don't we just want everything to go back to normal? Then do your part. Wear your mask, use alcohol, remember to social distance, and take, take your, your vaccine. vaccine.
There are various reasons as to why you should get vaccinated. Number one, COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective, and that is because the vaccines were developed using science that has been around for decades and are not experimental. They went through all the required stages of clinical trials to be proven as safe. Once you are fully vaccinated, you can start doing more. After you are fully vaccinated, you can do so many activities, such as going outside without wearing a mask, seeing family and friends without having to be six feet apart, except for places that of course require you to wear a mask and be six feet apart. Just take a look at all these happily vaccinated people. They may have personal problems, but they're smart enough to get your vaccine. I used to be in a dark and cold place. My parents left me. My dog left me, even my imaginary friend left me, but suddenly when I took a vaccine to the knee, I've never felt better in my entire life. If I am being honest about my opinion on the vaccine, I would say it's worth getting it since the efficacy rate for all of them is above 50%. I would say it is worth getting vaccinated. As a living, breathing 28-year-old Sigma male, the moment my parents died of COVID, I swear upon myself that I will survive through this pandemic, and I'm glad I made that promise. COVID-19 vaccination is a safer way to help build protection. Not only can you get protected from the virus, but you will also gain a boost in your immune system, which helps you become more immune to the viruses. band vocalist Erwin Sparks and I Like Music said, This song is about the man who knew everything, but he goes mad with his own power. Because he corrects everyone, but nobody wants to know their faults. Because then, the world becomes a very complicated place and less happy. So it's a thing of how everyone knows someone who knows too much. Knowledge is power, so they say. In science, we are encouraged to think and solve mysteries. Like Mr. A, we can correct false information and make others be more objective in coming up with conclusions. We unlock the difficulties that surround us and use our skills and knowledge in improving our lives. With much pride, the SVCEC team Adham and Strings present Mr. Jason Avery, Wesley Piquero, Mr. Marcel Espinosa, Mr. Diego Mejia, Mr. Juan Carlos Gallardo, and in import, Mr. Judah Gaviola. Benedictines! This is Goodbye Mr. A, performed by Blue for a Day. There's a hole in your logic You who know all the answers Whoa, oh You claim science ain't magic And expect me to buy it Goodbye, Mr. A You promised you would love us But you knew too much Goodbye, Mr. A but no human touch If life is subtraction Your number is up Your love is subtraction It's not adding up Whoa. Oh 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 So busy showing me Switch your feelings on Oh, oh So, so superior Are you not? You love a little bit But you forgot Goodbye, Mr. A You promised you would love us But you knew too much Goodbye, Mr. A You had all the answers But no human touch 
If life is subtraction, your number is up. Your love is subtraction, it's not adding up. Subtraction, your number is up, your love is a